Are you the world's first and only emo UFC fighter? A hundred percent. Big, like major, big time. There's no one even. There's not even a close second. There's got. There's there's hardcore UFC fighters. Yeah. There's there's a metalhead UFC fighters for sure. I think you'd be hard pressed to find a dude that loves Midwest emo and second wave emo and like real emo as much as I do. That's also willing to punch you right in the mouth. And it's it's a hard place to be. You know what I mean? <laughs> the hard place to be because I love. I genuinely love emo. But, but like, especially as I've gotten older, like it's the same thing with music or comic books or whatever. Like, like I'm too much of a nerd to hate, like, like all my friends who fight are like, why are you into that stupid shit? And then all, and then like, it's like all my friends I grew up fighting with are like, why are you spending money on comic books? Like that shit's fucking lame. Like, like right. why, why are you watching, why are you watching the X-Men cartoon from the nineties? Put some boxing on or something. And then like. <laughs> Then, but then, like when I go to a comic book shop to spend money, like my hard-earned money on stuff that makes me happy, because of the way I look, the guys at the comic book shop like won't even address me when I walk. So I'm right. just like, I'm like too much of a nerd for the jocks and too much of a jock for the nerds, and like that's that emo, emo, and everything else that I'm really love doing and like really enjoy in life, kind of fits into that. Like I, I love emo, but then I also will randomly listen to it and be like, I wouldn't want to hang out with the guy who made this song. Like I might like, I'm like, I'm sad. I'm sad. And like, and like have thoughts about self harm. But then like, I also get up and like work out and eat healthy and like can talk to girls and stuff, you know, like you have touched a boob. I have touched boobs. Like I've touched a couple, like I've been able what, to touch more than one. Yeah. Like, well, there's What's two that like, it's tough. It's tough to describe. I know it's hard for like a lot of your fan base, but girls actually have two. <laughs> like, there's two for every girl. There's two boobs, and oh. if, yeah, if you can get a girl to like you enough to take her shirt off, um, uh -huh. and they'll let you touch both of them, or do you have to yeah, pick like, one, or you, how does that work? Usually, you have a favorite, but you got to show okay. love to both because you don't you don't want it to get weird and just like only focus on one. You but you always right, have okay. And that that's the thing. The older you get, the more you know. You're like, fuck, I love this band. But then after like five or six songs or like after you listen to the wrong interview of a guy from the band, right. you're like, you're like, oh, like what a fucking nerd. Yeah. You're like, this guy, this guy sucks. Guy, yeah. He's like, he's not being <laughs> ironic. He's literally right. just, he's literally just a, a sad, fucking loser. He's just, a, he's just an, a loser from fucking <laughs> from Indiana who like literally cannot talk to a girl if he tried. And like, right. like it, it makes me feel it, everything that, and that we're talking about right now is like a weird contradiction or like juxtaposition of like, I love emo, but then like sometimes I look at myself in the mirror and be like, dude, play some fucking, like, like put on some Chief Keef and go fuck fist fight, you know, like enough, right. dude. <laughs> like shut up or like, or like, yeah, I don't know. That That's always been the balance for me is like finding, finding music that I love that's like sad or, or deep or, or fucking weird and ugly or whatever. Like these things I really like I'm drawn to, but then also kind of like finding the balance of like, all right, but it, it really actually isn't cool to just be like a sad dude in your mom's basement who like is an actual loser and can't talk to girls. Like you got, you have to, you have to, I, I think, I think, without like sounding like a fucking poser, you have to kind of take everything with a grain of salt. Like whether, like I listen to the most aggressive hip hop, like my favorite hip hop right now is like all the shit coming out of like Flint and Detroit and like all the, oh, all the Rio, 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 the young OG. Like even gnarlier than like Chicago, New York. Cause like Flint is just a wasteland. Yeah. It seems like I've never it's like been. fallout. It, it literally seems like it's its own country. It's the, just like right. a lot trading <laughs> bottle caps for a pistol. <laughs> Dude, yeah, it seems crazy. So like Rio, the young OG, 42 Doug, like all these dudes, I like, I really like love the sound that's coming from Michigan right now. I love the, a lot of, I love a lot of like the West Coast, Renaissance, like uh, the West Coast revival shit right now is like the West Coast got a lot of really cool shit going on. I love just like ignorant, aggressive hip hop, but like it doesn't mean that you should necessarily like embody everything that those dudes are saying. And I've, and I've known that for a long time, like growing up with hip hop, I've had to, re, I've had to remind myself that with like, with a lot of the like bummer punk shit is like, right, it's, right. it's really cool to like sip a latte in the morning and like listen to fucking modern baseball. But like 
also like i'm going to fucking fist fight people and then like go home and play with my dog and hang out with my girlfriend who's really cool like don't get too caught up in that you know like don't get too weird that like you're saying i I feel like everyone kind of understands that with hip-hop is like well yeah i can listen to that that doesn't mean i have to go like join a gang and it's very easy for people to sort of juggle those things but when it comes to like rock it's sort of like people like it's like oh i have to go all in on this and just be this person like yeah. and check every box right but you don't you don't have to it doesn't have to be your personality you can like something and and again i'm not preaching this uh, this is this is something that i just realized like like a month and a half ago <laughs> like this is not me <laughs> i'm 33 like, years old i just realized <laughs> Yes, exactly. This is not me preaching. Like another great example is like, if you look behind me, I have stacks of comic books. Like just like, this is, this is like one of the fucking three books, three or three bookshelves I have. Like, and something happened. Like I'm, I'm super obsessive compulsive by nature. And if I get into something, I like go all the way in. Right. Part of that, part of that is just me. Like I'm thankful for that because it also like when I started fighting and I fell in love with fighting, it was just like, okay, be the best in the world at it. There was no, like no plan B, you know, that can be helpful, but you have to always keep yourself in check and be like, be taking like a real account of who you are and what direction you're heading. And a lot of these like things that you just like your habits, you always have to be for me, at least I found you always have to be, checking yourself and going like, okay, is this actually productive? Is this actually making me happy? Is this actually leading the direction I want? Because I'm so obsessive compulsive that, you know, six or seven years ago, I got back into comic books. I've always been into comic books. I remember reading Spider-Man with my dad as a kid. Like I grew up watching, you know, cartoons and like the last, whatever, 15 years, every fucking major movie is a comic book movie. Like such a big part of our culture, but like, a huge part for me is like actually reading comics. Like I'm an actual comic book nerd. I don't just go to watch the new Marvel movie. Like I, I go, I'm at the comic book shop every Wednesday. Cause that's when new comic books come out. And I had to check myself after six or seven years of really collecting and being like, and being like, man, I have, this is like turned into a part-time job. Like, <laughs> right. I, like I have so much shit to read piling up that it's almost stressing me out. This thing is right, supposed to be right. almost stressing me out. It's like, it's like, am I doing this because I love all the shit I'm buying to read? Or am I doing this because in my head, I'm a comic book guy and I'm a real comic book guy that has a fucking, whose office is dedicated to all the comic books he has. And I have stacks of things to read. And it's not just enough to read the the, the popular stuff. I read the indie stuff. And that's like, right. and not only is all that true, but then both comic books and music and, and all this other shit that we're all into, they kind of prey on that. So like yeah. comic, book, comic books, for example, it's like, it's like, Oh, are you reading this? Well, if you want the full story, you have to read three other things and they all have variant covers and they all have this. Right. You have to do, it's like, and before you know it, you're like this thing that's supposed to make you happy is like a part-time job that like you've just added on to the fucking. It's like when people talk about with video games, like, Oh, my, my backlog, like this game, this game is so boring and it sucks, but yeah. I have to platinum it. Like, no, you don't. You can just stop playing it. Like if I have I, like, I like video games. I realized years ago, kind of the same thing. It's like, if it stops being fun, I stop playing it. Even if I'm only halfway through it, I'm like, cool. That was fun. Dude. I'm done. That, that <laughs> dude, that realization that you just said took me so fucking long to, 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 get like i was such a completionist that i'm like i'm like okay there's five trades there's five books in this series and i'm on book three and it hasn't been fun for me since book one right. and i'm still gonna spend the money and the time that i like i'm gonna die one day but i'm wasting hours reading right. something it's like same thing with video games like video games are even more predatory because they actually give you trophies or achievements right. 